Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, a girl. I'm back in my favorite park. And today I would like to talk about three things, mainly, I think. So, first thing first, very quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know that my new article on Japan Forward is published. And I, this time I talked about Leo Shiapo's、uh, memorial forum that we held here in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan, along with all the memorial events happening in New York, Berlin.、Um, I don't remember <laughs> the rest, but there were many、um, you know, events happening、um, after.、Uh, A year after the death of Leo s h i a p o and we, as Japanese, we thought that we should hold the event too because you know the world is facing this crisis and this threat caused by the Chinese Communist Party. And I wanted to let you guys know how Japanese people are thinking, and also,、um, I don't know, like. I, we also wanted to show that we are watching this whole movement, like all these movements coming from the Chinese Communist Party, that we are not fooled by all the excuses that they have, including all the historical disputes and so on. They often talk bad about Japanese people using the historical issues like comfort women issue and so on. But part of that is because they are oppressing the、um, people. Especially in Asia right now, they are doing exactly something like what Nazi was doing in this modern era, and Asian people are very angry. And、um, we wanted to show、uh, I mean, no, no, no,、uh, what I was trying to say is that you know, they are using past events to blind us all、uh, because they are doing well. You know what was happening in the past now, and they want to distract us from,、um, you know, themselves. And sorry, I get distracted very easily. <laughs> Speaking of distraction, I'm in the middle of a city, so. But yeah, I, want, I wrote the article, and you will understand what we are talking about and so on. So please check it out, and also please share it with your friends and family so that I can boost my influence. Um, and um, so then I can write more articles and I can do more things with Japan Forward and maybe other outlets as well. So, yeah, Japan Forward is very trusted. You know, it's an English version of Sankei s h i m u pretty much. Like, technically, it's not, but basically, it is. <laughs> and, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about it, but anyway, please help us Asians, okay? <laughs> Another thing is, oh, yeah, regarding the,、um, the battle against the Chinese Communist Party, I wanted to、uh, mention a little bit on the tax situation between、uh, the US and China. I saw the news of you know,、uh, the, the Trump administration the ta-、uh, tax on China and Chinese, the Chinese government.、Um, how do you call it? What, what do you call that in English? Like, to. Revenge in a way to tax again, and then <laughs> the US government just say,、um, you know,、uh, boosted the tax like the amount of products increased and so on. And I saw that news、um, in Japanese newspaper, and I thought that was like wow, I mean, it's, it's very、uh, fun and inter- interesting that the US is very smart. <laughs> of course, there's there are more imports. Uh, from China, down from America to China. So、um, it's, really, it's really nice that, you know, we are, especially Japan, we are very, we are wise and we are good hearted people, but we, we can't make things happen for some reason. People here still need to wake up. The majority are still like, they're just enjoying themselves, like their lives and so on. And we are, it's very peaceful, obviously. Around here, so yeah, and but it's really as a Trump supporter, I'm really thankful for Trump administration again on this. And、um, it's very important that we fight back against the threat of the Chinese Communist Party. Like, you have to see behind every move of the Chinese Communist Party because they are doing everything along their strategy. And yeah, anyway, I'm just grateful for the. Administration in the US right now, and I hope that the election next time will go well. Another thing I wanted to talk about oh, yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little update、uh, on myself 
which is the hats i know i have a heart well it's it's on the news as well but like i heard the news about alex jones that his channel got removed or something like that right and um i was i was surprised to be honest like i mean i part of me was not too surprised because of course he's a little too extreme but what i think is that at least he his channel like all the people were showing what they base their uh, opinions on and i don't think like it's just hatred maybe it's a little extreme and it's i don't know some people might think that some of it what they say are like a conspiracy and so on but at least they have <laughs> logic and so my question is why do uh, why does youtube um ban all these people from the right side only and they just leave the leftists like whatever they are that's just not fair even seeing from here in japan and me myself actually it, i am under attack as well did you know that no because i don't talk about it because i don't i don't know like i this attack okay so what's happening is that i used to talk a lot about korean issues like you know japan and south korea we have lots of historical and uh historical disputes we have lots of uh tutorial disputes and um and also there are lots of korean people living here and we talk about um the right to vote and so on and it's like we have so many problems right and i used to focus on that because that the situation with south korea was what woke me up a lot you know looking at all these problems happening i um, i started to understand what's really going on in this world so my main focus is, was especially on the comfort women issue and so on and in korean and anikization <laughs> i don't even remember the word but yeah that sort of stuff and so people think used to think back then that i'm very opinionated and i'm very hardcore like I stand up very uh, harshly and so on and some people thought of me as very extreme but at the time I didn't have much problem that Korean people hated me of course but some of them approached me well but like they could see my respect towards Korean people so some of some people actually approached me and I was very thankful for that but anyway my point is that I was recognized as somebody extreme and dangerous and so on <laughs> right but i was showing my evidence where i based my opinion on and so on and i was only um you know refuting the points the leftists were making right and i have the right to do that but nowadays and i didn't have problems back then when i was making actually political songs and so on people loved it some people hated it and i had no problems back then but today especially because it's not me because i learned more and i learned a lot of more like different kind of perspectives and i started to see the bigger picture and so on so i started to talk about all these different things from different angles but people are <laughs> a lot of people are the same and the channels aside from me in japan like conservatives they i have to admit that some people are very very discriminative that they are actually like a haters you know that they just discriminate other races and other cultures and i hate that but seeing from leftists i seem to be categorized as the same as them and so they started uh, what the leftists here started to do is to ban everybody that are making youtube videos it doesn't matter if it's me like this or others that just um show the news with the screenshots and everything or even the computer voice and so on there are so many conservative channels but or right wing channels but um the left just started to make this campaign which sounds so silly and ridiculous like it's a it's like a pun of the japanese thing that we know very well of and it's like a they call it like a festival like ban conservatives no it's a like a net a net internet right wing banning a festival or something if i may translate directly so they started to do that and, and a lot of channels including the i th- 
I don't know if his channel was banned, but there was this there's this offspring of Meiji Emperor and he has this YouTube channel and also another channel on a different uh, platform. But he is very famous, very well known. He goes on TV all the time and so on. Everybody knows him. But um, he was talking about it as well. So maybe his channel got affected as well. But the famous people here are getting banned on, uh, that are on conservative side and right wing uh, side. And, uh, and the leftists are just left alone, <laughs> even though they are discriminating other people as well. So it's just so not right. But as for me, um, what I was, what I wanted to tell you guys is that some of my videos are getting like a, what you call like the report thing, you know. And one of, one of my video got removed. And that video, in that video, have you ever heard of this Japanese uh, music group called uh, Sazan All Stars? <laughs> the vocalist is very like he comes from like a back. All, all times that he grew up being anti-social um, attitude you know that back in the day like after the war probably in 60s 70s I'm not too sure but it was cool back then to uh, to protest it's not like protest what you call it I forget the word uh, it's not protest but you get the point the anti anti-social attitude was cool you know and just like a social justice warrior today they it was cool here and he still has that the vocalist of the group he still has that attitude and his historical viewpoint is very biased so and he even makes music like that so i refuted his points that he was showing in his lyrics and i talked about it in a video and he got so many views and um, his fans were, were angry whatsoever but basically, uh, YouTube said that probably got a lot of reports, you know, and I was not criticized. I was only criticizing and I was not discriminating anything. I was just stating my own opinion, refuting those views and that got reported. And so it's like the first um, warning for my account. So I can't live stream on my channel after that. And I can only take two more warnings and i'm not too worried about it because i will just make another account and or do different things to um, express express myself and so on but so that's what's happening i was think, starting to think like oh maybe i can live stream because i'm getting used to this type of you know uh, recording style so i thought that i can level up and live stream do a live stream i cannot do that unfortunately <laughs> i can on different channels so i might do that you I don't know yet but time will tell but so I'm not the like um, I'm not excluded I'm in the movement I am their target even though I am growing up and doing things better and the leftists are remaining the same uh, an interesting thing is that um, see I refuted I, I didn't I, I was criticizing the song that a leftist minded musician made and I was banned, right? And I also, back in the day, I made a political, I actually made a couple of songs, but I made political songs back in the day. Two of them were getting the request to get, to remove those videos. And how does that, how is that fair? Like I was showing the, in my songs, I was only showing all the evidence that I see I can obtain like officially and that I just made the songs of it and it, it gets all these reports but the major leftist musicians they are just fine with all the hatred that they spread about our own country like it's I don't understand it's not fair and um, yeah so but my, what I'm thinking though is that it's actually I am such a positive person that I'm seeing it as a good sign that people think that I I have influence and that's flattering that's one thing another thing is that um, well I can sorry on my memory like I, I kind of skipped now but another thing is wait what was I gonna say 
I am totally going back. Sorry, guys. I totally forgot what I was going to say because I was so distracted that, oh, I'm speaking so smart right now. <laughs> This happens to me sometimes. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thought, I was, what I wanted to say is that I, I can, with these limitations that I get from leftists, I am actually getting smarter to reach out to more broadened range of people because I will avoid what they want to attack about me or the points that I make. So I'm, like, I'm getting smarter and smarter. And I learn more and more about how leftists think and I can understand how, where they are coming from. So I can cover that. So I'm not only, I'm not being pessimistic about this situation. All, all I have to do is to show what's really going on without any emotional agitations. You know, we just have to report like the news do. Maybe I need to make a media, right? Even the websites like a social media outlet or news media outlet. If we don't have those, we can always, always, always create those. So, you know, we are not powerless like we're taught. We are actually powerful. So that's my message today, I guess. And lastly, Let's uh, thank our patrons from Patreon. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 I am not the best singer, but thank you guys. If you want, um, please support me here. Yep. And um, again, before I for, uh, before I end this video, again, please check out the article, English article that I wrote about uh, Leo Shippo's event and please um, keep in touch with what's going on in Japan okay link down below so no okay I'm gonna go so thank you so much guys for watching and hope you are doing well though by the way <laughs> I will talk to you later okay take care okay bye and I have to end this video by myself here bye